James Augustine Aloysius Joyce, writer, author, literary critic, poet, and a man whose books I have never read. Joyce was a celebrated author during his time. He was born in 1882 and he bumped elbows with other authors like Hemingway. He contributed to the modernist avant-garde movement and is regarded as one of the most influential and important writers of the 20th century. He wrote Ulysses, Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man, and other things. All I'm trying to say is he was a celebrated novelist, but guess what? We don't care about his books. F his books. F you, James Joyce. All we care about are his love letters to Nora, his wife. Because we're not talking about some random crusty author. We're talking about James motherfucking Joyce. This man? Feral. James Joyce, being an author, had his way with words, and he loved to send letters to people, particularly his wife. Now, for a long time, these letters were heavily censored when they were published. Certain letters were just conveniently left out. But we have them. And they're real. <laughs> Now you might be wondering, what could there possibly be to censor? If you're thinking that this is just going to be a normal level of debauchery, you're incorrect. Without further ado, let's read James Joyce's letters to his wife, Nora. This letter is introduced with the following sentence. In the letter below, James Joyce writes to his future wife, Nora, about his private unmet needs. We're gonna find out what those unmet needs are. The letter opens 13th of December, 1909, Dublin. Do you believe in my love at last, dearest? Ah, do, Nora. Why, everyone who has ever seen me can read it in my eyes when I speak of you. As your mother says, they light up like candles in my head. So romantic. You have such a way with words, James Joyce. I'm just gonna say buckle up, because this is not even the worst one. This is just the first one that I'm reading. Take it, my love. Save me and shelter me. I am your child, as I told you, and you must be severe with me, my little mother. Punish me as much as you like. <clears throat> I would be delighted to feel my flesh tingling under your hand. Do you know what I mean, Nora, dear? I wish you would smack or, or flog me even. Not in play, dear, in earnest and on my naked flesh. I wish you were strong, strong, dear, and had a big, full, proud bosom and big, fat thighs. I would love to be whipped by you, Nora, love. I would love to have done something to displease you, something trivial even, perhaps one of my rather dirty habits that made you laugh, and then to hear you call me into your room and and then to find you sitting in an armchair with your fat thighs far apart and your face deep red with anger and a cane in your hand, to see you point to what I had done and then with a movement of rage pull me towards you and throw me face downwards across your lap, then to feel your hands tearing down my trousers and inside clothes and turning up my shirt, to be struggling in your strong arms and in your lap, to feel you bending down like an angry nurse whipping a child bottom until your big full bubbies almost touched me and to feel you flog 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 me viciously on my naked quivering flesh pardon me dear if this is silly I began this letter so quietly and yes I must end it in my own mad fashion <laughs> uh. when he says mad fashion this is not even oh my god Oh my God. James Joyce only wants a big titty goth GF who can hurt him. Please hurt me, BDSM mommy with the big boobs. I respect that. I respect that. This is just the beginning. Here's where I'm gonna have to start using some creative censoring. To Nora, 20th of December, 1909, Dublin. My sweet naughty girl, I got your hot letter tonight and have been trying to picture you frigging your... James Joyce references his wife writing back and we unfortunately do not have those letters. 
Do you stand against the wall with your hand tickling up under your clothes, or do you squat down on the hole with your skirts up and your hand hard at work through the slit of your drawers? Does it give you the horn now to shit? <laughs> I don't want to know. <sighs> Some night when we were somewhere in the dark and talking dirty and you feel, um, I don't want to read the rest. No use continuing. You can guess why. And then he just goes on to tell her about his day. Almost all of the letters start out super sweet, like this one. Darling, do not be offended at what I wrote. I am giving you a lovely book for a present too, and it is a poet's present for the woman he loves. But side by side and inside the spiritual love I have for you here is also a wild beast-like craving for every inch of your body, for every secret and shameful part of it, for every odor and act of it. Oh, Jesus Christ. My love for you allows me to pray to the spirit of eternal beauty and tenderness mirrored in your eyes or to fling you down under me on that soft belly of yours and f you up behind like a hog riding a sow. I have taught you almost to swoon at the hearing of my voice singing or murmuring to your soul the passion and sorrows and mystery of life, and at the same time I've taught you to make filthy signs to me with your lips and tongue, even to do in my presence the most shameful and filthy act of the body. Ew! Ew! You remember the day you pulled up your clothes and let me lie under you looking up at you as you did it? Then you were ashamed even to meet my eyes. Did she shit on his chest? I don't think I can read this last paragraph. This man is a menace. Here's the thing. Here's the thing about James Joyce's letters. They are so well written, so romantic, and then disgusting. <laughs> Utterly disgusting. <laughs> yeah, I am gonna kink shame James Joyce. You can't stop me. I'm gonna skip uh, 3rd December 1909. 8th December 1909. This is the letter that exposed me to the James Joyce letters. Are you ready? <sighs> My sweet little whorish Nora. I did as you told me, you dirty little girl, and pulled myself off twice when I read your letter. I am delighted to see that you do like being fricked aceways. You had an arse full of farts that night, darling, and I fricked them out of you. Big, fat fellows, long, windy ones, quick little merry cracks, and a lot of tiny little naughty farties. And <laughs> oh my god and a lot of tiny little naughty farties, ending in a long gush from your hole. I think I would know Nora's fart anywhere. I think I could pick hers out in a room full of farting women. <laughs> yeah, James Joyce. <laughs> it is a rather girlish noise, not like the wet windy fart, which I imagine fat wives have. James. <laughs> James, no. <laughs> I hope Nora will let off no end of her farts in my face so that I may know their smell also. Uh, Nora apparently has, oh. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna read the rest of this letter. Ooh. Oh, he said like a ravenous dog. I just want to share how this letter ends, though. Good night, my little farting Nora. My dirty little f bird. <laughs> Guys, this is as much as I can read. I haven't even read half, half of his letters. I'm going to stop before I keep taking mental damage. But you should absolutely check them out if you also want to cause yourself some mental damage. So what did we learn? James Joyce is a nasty little freak boy who wants his dom mommy. And he's an award-winning novelist. <laughs> so the next time you hear somebody say, God, Ulysses is boring. I hate classic literature. I'm so bored. Make it a teachable moment. Show them the letters. Show them the letters. I want to give a special shout out to James Joyce for making this video possible. He is dead, but we can change that with your help. So if you want to resurrect James Joyce and make him a TikTok e-boy, or if you want him to stay in his grave, leave a comment on this video. 
I want you to let me know, first of all, have you read his letters? What's your review? Would you be romanced by them? And number two, if James Joyce was alive today, which websites would he frequent? Because I'm thinking Craigslist, Reddit, maybe a couple of Discord servers, private Discord servers. <sighs> this man is feral. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe or else I'm going to question what it means to exist. I don't know why I'm here and I don't know if I want the answer yet. I don't know if I'm prepared to think about the consequences of my existence. Anyway, like and subscribe so I don't have to think about that stuff. Bye bye